Good morning, everyone. This is Royce Miller. Come back at you with yet another Let's Try. And today on the docket, we have something particularly stupid. Today on the docket, we have ba -ba -da -ba, the Gummy Controller by Maud Boruk. Cherry flavored. So sweet and good and meant to share. Perfect treat to show you care. You rock. Two blank from blank. Ingredients, corn syrup, sugar, water, gelatin, citric acid, natural natural and artificial flavors, pectin, red 40, and vegetable oil. Contains a bioengineered food ingredient. Uh, look, I saw this in the post-Valentine sales at Wally World, and I had to try it. It's so dumb. Because, like, here's the thing. Gummies only work on a small scale. When they're this big, they start getting hard to chew. And so, I'm going to try to chew it. Also, it looks like a PS5 controller. Ugh. Oh. Oh, it's so slimy and gross feeling. You know, there's probably a way to, like, because, or to, like, hook up touch controllers to this where you could, like, play a game on it. Oh, I died. Oh, I'm so mad I could just, ah! Ugh. Saturn eating his son. Then I just realized this had actual gelatin in it, not agar agar. So it's flipping uh, animal bone in here, horse hooves. The only time the vegan ingredient is somehow less gross. Which, okay, you can make the argument most vegan ingredients are less gross, but I argue that aquafaba is way more grotesque than, um, eggs. Mostly because I hate beans. So what is the flavor? It's cherry. It's fake cherry. Like... If you've had any cherry gummy in the last 30 years, you've had this. Or 100 years, even. I don't know how long the cherry gummy flavor has existed. Alright, so the texture... I mean, like... It is a normal gummy, but due to just the sheer size of it, it does feel like you're ripping into raw flesh almost. Like, it is disturbingly like eating a steak. A, a rare steak. And yeah, it's such a share, but I haven't done any grotesque displays of gl gluttony for you guys in a while. So we're gonna do this, I guess. I need to take smaller bites. Where did the insanely sized candy craze start? I gotta think it was the gummy snakes. You know, you see them in the gas station sometimes. There'll be these, like, long... <laughs> Half marshmallow gummy, half regular gummy snakes. Then you have the giant gummy bear, which is also ugly looking. Then you have the giant size candy bars. 
which usually are just fake shells hiding the actual candy bar, which is just like a bunch of fun sizes. No, I want a Reese's cup that looks like a frickin' pie. I want to slice it and eat it with ice cream. People were surprised I made a masturbation joke during my uh, hot honey pizza episode. Or review, whatever you call it. Taste test. I was like, I didn't say specifically that I was asexual, I don't think. I said that I was straight, just uncomfortable with... I said I liked women, I'm just uncomfortable talking about sex with people. Which is why I only did a light joke, saying that I got a rejection letter, or a Dear John letter from my right hand. Did I ever tell you that that's what, um, I, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't say. Man. I might throw up after this, guys. I'm not gonna lie. We were not meant to eat this much sugar. Texture's starting to remind me of something really familiar now. I can't think of what. Not gummies, but like... Something in that ballpark. When y'all get multi-flavored gummies, like let's say Lifesaver gummies or... Um, even jelly beans or something like that. How do you eat them? Do you separate them out into the individual flavors? Do you pop them one at a time? Do you take just a straight handful and shoot them back and experience the awful cacophony of flavor? I've done all the above over the years. This is some Willy Wonka ass candy. The Augustus Clute comparisons are starting to really come home to roost. I'm starting to suffer, guys. This sucks. How many servings am I eating of this shit? Pardon my French. Eleven servings at 80 calories a piece.
900 calories. I don't think I'm going to eat the rest of the day. Maybe I'll try to go use the gym and get some cardio in. Our new apartment has a workout room, but most apartments do nowadays. I'm also trying to court some sponsors, which I hope you guys are okay with. Like, I'll be able to do more of this if I'll be able to do better things if I get some money coming in for it. And, you know, it'd be cool. Because, like, you know, I need a new bed frame. I want a TV stand. I'd like to get some shelving installed, maybe. are simultaneously sticky and greasy. I hate this. Never do this. Don't do as I say, not as I do. Ugh. I, I got in this video before I found it, guys. I'm sorry. You all have got a destroy speller. I'm out of here.